Using my own experiences on the water, I've listed the top 5 paddleboarding locations in my home county of Dorset. All spots will offer anyone an amazing day on the water, however I have ranked them from number 1 being best suited for a beginner, to 5 being more for an advanced paddler. Where possible, I've included some helpful tips like where to launch and park, to some of the facilities these spots have to offer, in the hope it will save you the hassle of figuring out the logistics on your trip and having more time on the water. So sit back, enjoy, and join me as we get ready to add to your paddle boarding bucket list. Our first stop on the road to Paddler's Paradise is none other than my own stomping ground of Christchurch. With its winding riverways and facilities galore, it offers the perfect place for paddlers of all abilities to have some fun. Christchurch offers multiple launch locations, scenic views, and even a couple of riverside coffee stops. And be sure to take some time to soak up some of the stunning boats that line the riverbanks. Christchurch is genuinely one of my favourite places to be, with prime picnic spots and every facility you could need lining the riverbanks, including ample parking locations, this place is an absolute must for adventure hungry paddlers. Sandbanks, or Millionaire's Row as it's often called, offers more than just a habitat for the rich and famous. With the whole bay offering sheltered shallow water, it's a fantastic location for beginner paddlers to get out and have some fun. You'll also be able to catch arguably one of the best sunsets on the south coast here, if visiting on a clear evening. Sandbanks does get busy, especially in peak season, however there is ample parking all along the bay and a large car park towards the far end. Once you're done paddling, be sure to flip to the beach side of Sandbanks, where you'll find coffee spots, restaurants, and even a beachfront sauna. Most of Sandbanks does dry out at low tide, so to avoid a walk out to the water, I'd recommend coming down at high tide, where you'll find yourself a few steps from boot to bay. So be sure to plan a day out here at one of Dorset's best paddleboarding spots. Wareham offers paddlers a slice of idyllic countryside, ancient history and the predictability of a river paddle all in one package. The quay offers the best launch spot with a public slipway located right next to a SUP rental shop. Parking can be tricky on busier days however, with one car park being located quayside and a smaller one just behind, that do fill up quite quickly. If heading downstream you'll pass the old granary pub that sits on the water's edge, somewhere you'll be keen to visit after you've built up your appetite paddling. 
If continuing downstream, you'll be greeted with an abundance of wildlife and tranquility, with more advanced paddlers having the option to continue out to Pool Harbour and beyond for a full day's adventure. This stretch of river is tidal however, so do plan your paddle accordingly. Aim to head downstream on a falling tide and upstream on a rising to give yourself as little work to do as possible. Whether you plan to just bowl around the quay or set off on a full river adventure, this ancient Saxon town boasts one of the best locations in Dorset to get out on the water. The world famous Lulworth Cove makes it number 4 on my list. With its crystal clear waters and picturesque landscapes, it really is one of the best places not only in Dorset but the UK to visit. If you need a break from the water, there's great facilities including public loos, restaurants, pubs and even a gift shop. When it comes to parking, there's a reasonably-ish priced car park that can accommodate most on even the busiest days. However, if you aim to set off on the dirt or door side, you're best off starting from the holiday car park just above to avoid a long walk uphill. As ever, make sure you check the conditions before this paddle, even if staying in the safety of the cove as it can get dangerous with the wrong mix of wind and tide, especially if venturing to the exposed dirt or door side. With its gorgeous waters and tucked away coves, Lulworth offers a fantastic place for both beginners and advanced paddlers to explore and is certainly a place to add to your Dorset hit list. My final location is something quite special. It's a truly privileged feeling standing on a board at the feet of these giants, only to turn around and see the wide expanse of the English Channel behind you. If you choose to make it out this far, you'll be treated not only to the visual splendour that is Old Harry Rocks, but you'll also be able to explore the hidden archways and private beaches dotted around this area of coastline that are reserved only for those daring enough to explore. The waters around Old Harry Rocks are often frequented by dolphins and other marine life, so keep an eye out for some special visitors. You never know who may pop its head out, just to see who's visiting its home. You have a few options when it comes to launch locations, but my recommendations would be either Studland Beach or Swanage, both offering parking facilities. Keep in mind this is only a venture recommended for more experienced paddlers, as conditions can turn very quickly here. If you do decide to take on this paddle however, rest assured you'll be in for something quite magical. Whether you're a local who has never explored what our county has to offer on the water, or a seasoned paddler travelling from far and wide for a new adventure, I hope this video has helped inspire you into planning your next adventure on the water. If you feel I have managed to do that, it'd be great if you can give the video a like and subscribe as it really helps get my content out there to new people who may also become inspired to get out there too. If you'd like to see more of my adventures in Dorset, here are a couple of videos, including a paddleboarding trip in Sandbanks. But for now, until next time.